Like those games were good, but they were like now they were like Hunter Sale Barn good, Wes. Like Wes knows what I'm talking about. Like that <laughs> we had this uh this shitty bargain basement flea marketplace. It was literally a barn that they had like I, we've probably talked about the sale barn on here before. I would say, like, you yeah. could find some or, like Iranian uh, immigrant who would sell like an eight year old a ninja throwing star, and in the booth over, there was already somebody that was figuring out how to, uh, I don't know, um, mirror and and print on the chips like fake Nintendo games. Yeah. Like it would be Super Stario Brothers. Like somehow they were able <laughs> to get these things and smuggle them out of like <laughs> like some black market in yeah. South Korea. And the booth down from that, they had some uh, some Rockwood speakers, twelve inch to fifteen inch Rockwood subwoofers. Rockwood. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Rockwood subwoofers. Some some Kenfords and some uh, some Alpines. <laughs> and then a booth over, you could get some uh, some Fakeleys, some some Razors. Oh. Razor Bottom uh, Fake Oakleys. Nice. Get yourself some CDs. A, 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 a flea market, bro. A funnel cake. Uh, you know, probably some... They, they may have someone on acoustic jamming out somewhere on a, with, a, with a single amp. Um, you know, obviously there's some, there some food trade going on. You get some muffins, some bacon. Uh, you know, I, I would say that there's probably some livestock trade going on behind closed doors. Wouldn't it shock me? Hunter's Sale Barn. It was only open on Mondays. It was yours. Yours started off like a lot of flea markets that I went to and then immediately got more rural. <laughs> Whereas mine is my experience is very ethnic. Uh, <laughs> lots of food. Yes. But different types of food. Right. Yeah. Good yeah. shit. Only open on Mondays. Uh is weird right why what's up with mondays and flea markets I, I, it beats me i don't know Mur, do you was it some holy sabbath the hillbilly days or something no i have no idea i have no idea what the whole monday thing was about but it it, it really that was the thing with the sale barn is because it was only open that one day it really like focused the it focused the entire county it like and maybe there was other flea markets that were open like different days of the week or something maybe that's what it was and we were just so close to the Hunter Sale Barn that that was our our only opportunity for cheap knockoff goods at a bargain basement price. Yeah. But no, it like it it focused, it funneled everybody in like cattle throughout the entire county to this one place, and it makes me realize like how much things have changed since we were kids. Like you had to go somewhere to buy shit. You couldn't just like rely on Amazon. Like if you wanted, I don't know, cheap strawberry, you couldn't just go to your local hardware store you had to go to the sale barn and some guy who like literally grew baby bushes in his backyard would dig them up on sunday and bring them out on monday <laughs> i i can distinctly remember like a uh like a very patriotic bald eagle style uh booth where the guy had you know bandanas and posters and t-shirts and buck knives all with bald eagle with with American the, the 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 stars and stripes behind it, you know the the eagle looking at two o'clock, all majestic. You could get out all types of varieties of of bald eagle paraphernalia and insignia. Dude, it got it got super sketchy. Like the further back into the barn, if you will, it got <laughs> super sketchy because it was like it wasn't technically one way, but most people kind of funneled in one side. It was like on your right there was tables and booths in the middle. There were like picnic tables set up like tables and booths. And then you'd have to go all the way down to come back up the other side. And when you got all the way to the end, it got it, it was basically how like a, a nightline episode would start out. Like some kid was like smuggled off in the uh, middle of the the middle of the afternoon to be like sold on the black market. There might have been children sales in the back room I, for all I know. <laughs> you, I just know my dad told me not to go past like a certain booth. That's it. Nothing, nothing good happens. After this booth back there, <laughs> no, mine, dude, that's that's so funny because like mine were basically the same. You get the same knockoff goods, but like so there was two they went to, and like me and the homies all went to the Patapsco Flea Market, and it was massive. Uh, and it's it's right down like heading towards Brooklyn on Patapsco Avenue, and like that's where you got everything. Like you got that's where you got your wife beaters, like six for twenty, you know, <laughs> tube tube socks. You get fucking Air Maxes. They you could get live crabs, fucking steamed crabs, like all types of crazy shit. 
Uh, and then there was the Latino market. So the Latino market was way sleazier. Uh, food was better. That's 100%. Uh, but yeah, mad like knockoff, uh, you know, soccer jerseys, things of that nature. Knock off, knock off Predator boots, Wes. You like that one with the four stripes? Four stripes, yeah. Maybe no one will notice. No, no one will notice it, man. It's fine. <laughs> and where was that? <laughs> just, just lace around it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> where was that? <laughs> it's got the extra stripe for extra oomph. Yeah. 